Hi, and welcome back. We are in the Tesla. We've got a new update. It is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to uh, show you it. It's got, we got some good features in here, it looks like. Uh, it's not just one of those little ones. <clears throat> so we're gonna spin the uh, camera around. Now there are, there are probably iterations. So the number update I got uh, is, is, is the notes say what they say, which is minor fixes, but there are things that are added in iterations I missed. So the update I got is 2023.20.4.1. Uh, so we're gonna turn the camera around. We're gonna show you exactly what is involved. This is a lot of cool features. So make sure you stay tuned through the whole video. Okay, so as you can see for 2023.20.4.1 itself, it just says minor fixes, but we've got some cool stuff in here that I'm gonna show you. So the first one, oops, is you go into controls, service, and I believe it's under wheel and tire, tires, uh, and in this will, so we're gonna say all season. So basically, this is gonna show you the reset, reset the mileage since the last tire service after each rotation, rotation, replacement, or swap. Select tire season to reset. All season, reset. Oh, there you go. So now I've just uh, put the tires on the car. Okay, so this way it'll keep track of the mileage since the last tire service. Uh, so it says less than 500 miles ago right here. This will start to count and add miles so you'll know how many miles it's been since your last tire swap or since you've gotten new tires and you don't have to keep track, you know, with like write down when you got them and do the math. So that's cool. Uh, another one is you can now have large text size in all languages. We got large text size a while ago, but now it's available in all languages. Uh, you can have a pinion keyboard, um, which is cool. It's expanded. So it has an expanded dictionary if you use pinion language. Um, now set pin to drive directly from the app. So if you lose your key fob, you can go in the app, you can unlock the car that way, but you could set pin to drive right in the app. So that's a good feature. Um, oh, when you're navigating to places, it will now show if things are open or closed. Uh, I don't know if this particular one will. Yeah, see open right here, open until. So that's a new feature. It shows you when the different uh, points of interest, whether or not they're open or closed. That's brand new, which is really, really good. I like that a lot. Um, uh, also controls, another thing that's new, you can go to controls, service, and you can, let's see, let's see, camera preview. And now you can preview all your cameras. So you've got, you can do cabin, up move this, there you go. There's the camera cabin. If you hit main, there's your main camera. This is wide. So this shows you how your cameras work, what your car can actually see. Uh, narrow field, left door pillar, left fender camera here, right door pillar, right fender camera, and rear view. So you can preview every single camera in the service area. There's no functionality. It's just so you can make sure all your cameras are working and functioning. Um, the current trip odometer. So the current trip odometer um, will now, uh, I don't know how to bring it up. I don't know why, but it will now show minutes elapsed. Oh, cause I haven't put it in drive yet. It'll show minutes elapsed since you put it in drive um, instead of kilowatt hours for the current drive. And finally, and my favorite update of all, I love this, is when you're in the car and you have your temperature here, right? And you know, it's not on, uh, uh, well, when you hit split, it changes it. This temperature here for passengers will only show up if someone is sitting in the passenger seat. So that is so awesome. If someone is not sitting in the passenger seat, then that temperature will not show up. And I'm assuming, will not be active, um, which is really, really cool. I love that feature. This will only show here if someone is sitting in the seat. If they're not, that will not show up. That's fantastic. 
Totally great feature. Really, really cool. So that's it. That's all the updates we got, but a lot of good ones. I love the feature because every time someone gets in and you want to hit split and then you got to turn it off the split, it's annoying. Now it's detecting if someone's in the seat. If no one's in the seat, I control the temperature with mine for the whole car. If someone sits down, they'll get their own temperature controls, which will, I'm assuming, activate the split. Awesome. Very cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.